Even the narrator's scared of this place. Hello, narrator? See? We don't have a choice. I'm losing years off my life every minute we're here. Also, bones? Hello! And I'm pretty sure that one's from a dinosaur. George scared too, but this what friends do. Aha. We close. No, no, no. She doesn't leave a footprint unless she wants to leave a footprint. Uh, it's a... trap. <sighs> no, it's okay. a better hunter than you, Tiger. It takes a big man to admit when he's outranked, but that woman beast is off the charts. By the way, that's you, down there, way at the bottom. Ooh, second place feels like a, a dirty shirt stained with failure, but I won't be wearing that shirt for long. What are you gonna do, Tiger? I'm gonna put you in terrible, terrible danger. Joy Please, please, please be on vacation. Yuri takes no vacations. Do you see the beast? Has she hurt you yet? No. Well, not yet. <laughs> but she ate all the meat? Good. Why good? Because that means you're next. So many teeth. <laughs> run, man, run. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Good. Fear will lend you speed. Welcome, Ghost Walker. <laughs> Gaze into my eyes and let the sacred fury transference ceremony begin! What happened? I must have eaten too many lemurs last night or something. Breakfast on legs. My favorite. Hey, I said... You're supposed to run in terror so I can hunt you down and eat. I don't understand. Hey, that was a complete sentence. So was that. I never talk in complete sentences. What are you looking at, pussycat? <laughs> uh oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Herman, you all done. Next! Patricia, long time. So, how new boyfriend? <laughs> Wait, I need your. <laughs> Stop! I'm not going to hurt you yet. Did you just speak good word sentence like George does? Ursula, I've never seen you so not scary. Stop! Stop that, please! See? Old Ursula eat George's arm by now! And she'd certainly never say please! What happened? <laughs> Tiger stole my jungle spirit! <laughs> <laughs> Clearly... Man alive! Oh, the fury! I can barely contain it! I don't like it, Tiger! <laughs> Because I love it! 
Her ferocity courses through my blood veins. Combined with my years of hunting experience, I'll be the ultimate predator! <laughs> There's no downside to this. I'm unstoppable! But, but Tiger... Uh... Hey! Didn't you hear me? Tiger stole my meanness! Help me get it back! George promised to help, but let's clean out Shep's trunk first. Irvin's really our nature's vacuum cleaner. No! You'll help me now! <laughs> ah, pickles! <laughs> you can't bully us anymore. Fine. I'll make someone else help me. Oh, hey. That where Tookie Tookie be all this time. <laughs> this had better work. Uh, Ursula. That's weird. Usually I'm more like... Ah! Wait, you're not scary anymore. Tiger stole my animal rage. Now help me get it back or I'll... First, no. Second, I'm trying to get all these fear stains out of my lab coats. Hmm. I wonder how those got there, huh? Huh. Who used to love scaring the sweat out of me, huh? Huh? Help me right now or else... You sound like a broken coffee grinder. Fine. I'll do it myself. Okay, bye. Don't let the door tree hit your not-so-scary butt on the way out. Great. Now what am I going to wear to the science ball next week? I don't need them. And when I get my rage back, oh boy, they're going to get it. All of it. <laughs> Who is that? Who said that? Why am I shivering when I'm not cold? Why does my stomach feel like it's in knots? Why are my knees shaking? And what's with this cold sweat? Wait, is this what fear feels like? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. <laughs> so this is what being George or Magnolia or Ape feels like. Still hungry! Oh crap! Please, please don't eat me! Fire in the hole! <laughs> Sometimes I really hate it here. Whew. New tiger, extra scary. He's terrorizing the entire jungle. Like I used to. Why didn't you tell me being hunted and bullied and scared all the time was so terrible? Our screaming didn't give it away. And why did you save me? Um... Good question. Oh, not saved yet? <laughs> you have to help me! Tiger's gone full barrel! Yeah, we know! Okay, small pink man. How we take fury out of Tiger? And give it back to me! <laughs> Let's just save the jungle first, Ursula. Tiger used the magic sweat lodge to steal Ursula's natural fury! <laughs> That's not even a thing! I'll provide the sweat. Well, I suppose it'll do. Now what? We lure Tiger inside and... <laughs> Tiger Sala smells stupid plan. Now Tiger Sala hunts stupid plan makers. No! We have to stand up to him. That's how you... <laughs> No one bullies friends except 
for Ursula! Tiger, you're back! Oh, right. My pride was my downfall. The pain is magnificent! No, it's not! No, it's not! It seems like the horrible feral terrifying magic was in Ursula all along. We go now, before she finished with them. Good idea. She'll still be hungry. Sorry, I'm here, I'm here. I, I got caught in traffic. Did I miss anything? Oh, it's over? Behold our hero, George, king of the jungle, and a foot. <laughs> huh? What? George, what's the matter? Uh, Mama Beep Baby loves with Wormy. Beep, 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 beep. What's gotten into you? Oh, George feel like he been through ringer. Crying at the drop of a hat all day will do that to you. George, not moving again until someone gave George foot massage. You're acting strange today. Is something up? Oh, yeah? Maybe something up with a... George! Hey, George hungry. Maybe you should relax. Get a good night's sleep. No, 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 no. George just needs snacks. <laughs> What's wrong? Lloyd <laughs> Clots, no fit right. George, your stomach! Ah! No look at George! No look! Strange cravings, hyper emotionality, aches and pains, and of course, that. That George Clots have. Don't interrupt me when I'm poking, son. Here, lick this. You don't think... Sweet! Got us some broccoli! Ape, it's time! Time for what? <laughs> time to drink plenty of water, take lots of vitamins, and let nature take its course. Good luck! Hmm. Bart's think he not telling whole story. You're worrying for nothing. Come on, Jungle King. Let's get you that foot massage. George has been on feet all day. Came out of George. George, this is something all jungle kings go through at some point in their reign. George, not understand. Laying an egg is uh, perfectly natural. No, no. Uh, sometimes our bodies go through changes. Uh, how to explain? George, scared. <clears throat> Let me help. Oh, about time. George, laying an egg is something every jungle king does. There's little George inside? Uh, no, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's going to be a magical Hoopa Hoopa bird. Centuries ago, Hoopa Hoopa birds were jungle enemy number one. They were unstoppable. Until an ancient jungle king discovered their secret. They really, really, like really don't like laying eggs. A deal was struck. The birds agreed to stop their jungly tongue terror. In return, each jungle king would lay one hoopa hoopa egg and teach the hatchling to be king and just. Ah, look, who are we kidding? To teach them to stop licking everything. Seriously, it's gross. George, call you Benedict. Or poached, or scrambly. George, no, over easy. Benedict it is. George, take good care of the egg until it hatches. But what happened to Jungle while George eggy daddy? Well, I'm glad you asked. Don't touch me with your paws! <laughs> Magnolia! While you're on poop paternity leave, Magnolia and Ursula will act as joint jungle team. You smell like dumb. Whoa! Yep, everything will be just fine. Yeah, George, sure, nothing go wrong. <laughs> ah, yeah. Ah. Oh, way! What a crazy adventure! Almost done reprogramming! Wait, George won! 
crazy adventure. Oh. Uh. One jungle kraken's bad enough. But three? Oh, oh, short tail? I can't believe we were inside a computer. <laughs> Woo! Uh, oh, how much longer George need to be Eggy Daddy? It's a very important job, George. Nobody wants a giant hoopa hoopa bird growing up without the right guidance and run away elephant train! Must have been panicked by the robodactyls and the Krakens. Come on! Sir Isaac of Newton! These elephants are made out of chocolate! <laughs> George won't go! George misadventures! <laughs> Back in minute, okay, Egg? George, promise. <laughs> Elephant's delicious. <laughs> oh, central lateral incisor. Ready for your towel? Most yummy rescue ever. George, where's Benedict? <laughs> Cuspid, do you realize what this is? <gasps> the best breakfast ever? No! Don't you know your jungle history? It's a hoopa hoopa egg. And with the help of my growth acceleration beam, it will soon be a full grown hoopa hoopa bird. I'm going to teach it every evil trick I know. It's going to be so laser. What? Just trying it out. It's got to be here somewhere. No! That big. Benedict! Benedict can't hear you, George. Oh, we found your egg. <laughs> Correction! I found your egg, and this wonderful creature was inside! Benedict grow up so fast. Yes! And look what I taught him to do! <laughs> Let the reign of tonguey terror begin! <laughs> Everybody okay? Yeah, besides being grossed out, George Mean. How do you stop something so wet? Ursula Sticky! Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! Enjoying the tongue apocalypse? Why can't you just use your claws? Ew! No, George, take tongue for friends. Benedict's faults as Eggy son, or George's faults as Eggy daddy. What are you waiting for? Lick him! Lick him now! Benedict what sandwich? No? Okay. Time to warm Eggy up. Oh, Eggy Daddy! Oh, Eggy Daddy! Eggy Daddy is George! George, he remembers you. Or just not he not use tongue. Oh, never mind. What are you doing? I am your father. Remember what I taught you. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Feel the evil. Feel it. Evil is fun, isn't it? Isn't it? No. Benedict must be good bird. Must use tongue to help, not to destroy. <laughs> Look at him. He obviously. <laughs> See, Benedict won't be good. Yeah. Ha! Shows you have. To... But what? Here? I don't think he likes it when his two dads argue. Benedict, tell George in Chicago what make Benedict happy. And do you, Dr. Stewart, Pamela Chicago, take George, King of the Jungle, as your jungly wedded husband? This is ridiculous. Not as ridiculous as Pamela. 
<laughs> oh, sure. Go for the low-hanging fruit. <laughs> okay, okay. I do. I do. One month of wedded bliss later. George! What did I tell you about picking up after yourself? George and Chicago have conversation already. George, go out and earn bananas Well, I know. It's just I could use a break. It's been weeks since I've been able to do some real mad science. <laughs> You're hungry again? George, it's your turn to feed. <laughs> Sorry, George must patrol. Oh, no, you don't. You're always on patrol. It's like you don't want to spend time with me anymore. <laughs> what am I saying? I want my life back. George, know only one way. Chicago and George raise Benedict properly. Knock it off! Yeah. <laughs> George loved Benedict too. Bye, Benedict! Bye! <sighs> Okay, Chicago. Go back to lab now, and George, go back to jungle. <laughs> Chicago, what wrong? I think we made good parents. George thinks so, too. And if you tell anyone I said that, I'll destroy you! Oh, just like our honeymoon. A scourge sweeps across the jungle, spreading misery with an order of suffering on the side. Inappropriate dentures. Extreme tooth whitening. Come on, big guy. Show the world your pain. Have you seen anything sadder? No. No, you haven't. What could be behind this toothy terror? <laughs> Bad robot! <laughs> Those were my friends. George, you've been fighting robots non-stop for a week. Cut! Uh, robot not! <laughs> Run out! Indeed. Maybe it's time we tackle this problem at the source. Good brain thing, ape! George, go to Robot Jungle! <laughs> I'll get off with robots, okay? Oh, hello, Robot George. Beep, boop. Robot George, do something wrong? Robot George, not programmed for failure. Robot George, it's okay, it's okay. No! God, George, I'm not the robot, you. I have to say that way too often. Hey, oh, that close one. Look! Manufactured by Chicago Dental Tronics. Aha! Dun dun dun! What that mean? It means this! The jig is up, Dr. Chicago! Yeah! Stop, robot spam! Oh, wow. Doctor really let place go. Are the robots still out there? Wait. If Chicago no send robots and Robot Jungle no send robots, who send robots? My, my, Moopkins. <laughs> oh yes, laugh it up. What do you call your mom? <laughs> oh, George Collar. George have no mom. You're probably thinking, unless you're one of those fancy pants clones, don't most folks have moms? But George is an orphan, plunked down in the great orphan storm of 99. Or was it 01? 
Oh, that's right. 01 was the year of that great hammock cane. <laughs> now that was a doozy. <laughs> Picking pork out of my slacks for weeks. In fact, was that a little... Hmm, pork. George not know what it like to have mom. Hey, in Chicago! Come out here at once! Ah, she's here! Let's go, George. Whatever's going on between Chicago and his moompkins is none of our business. But George wants to know more about moms. <laughs> I'll save you! Deploying anesthetic ray. George, help me and I'll tell you anything. Just wants to know about moons. Deal. I can't feel it in my brain. George, what are you doing? Sorry, Ape. George have to do this. But George, he's the enemy. Gingivitis is the real enemy. Cavity detected. <laughs> Favorite tooth boy behind! Uh, hi, I'm Cuspid. I was created by your son, so that makes me your grand! Ah! Chicago always have same mom? Unfortunately, yes! <laughs> this what they call quality time? For oh, the Chicago's? Yes! Scan negative. Do all moms have robots? As far as I am aware, yes. <laughs> no, that's a zebra. Now you've seen my mom. You can't blame me for being completely crazy terrified. It's true. George never knew moms have so many lasers. <laughs> Moms are complicated. They love you and care for you and hunt you down like an animal when you disappoint them by dropping out of dental school. George drop out of trees all the time. <laughs> I wanted to be a mad scientist, not a dentist. But she'd never understand. Two smithery is in my family's blood. Yes, the Chicago's have a long and storied history of dental malpr- I meant that literally. We have teeth for blood. Wow, I, uh... How is he even alive? Ooh, shooting star! That's not a... It's coming straight for us! <laughs> Cuspid? Negative. I am Cyber Cuspid. Moonkins is coming for you. Golly, resistance sure is futile. Knock it off, Cuspid. Moonkins will catch you in her loving embrace. Ever. Never, ever. Just like Robot Joyce! <laughs> Cuspid? He was an abomination, but he was my abomination. Aw, oh, hug it out. <gasps> Go, George. A man cannot escape his moompkins. Chicago give up? There's no hope for me! I could never out-dentist my mother! But Chicago not dentist, Chicago mad scientist! You're right. I am a mad scientist! A great mad scientist! Well... I'm just as evil as any dentist! Time to show moompkins what this mad scientist can do! Uh, Dr. Chicago? Yes, George? Do you think George's mom out there somewhere with evil robots to chase George, too? Maybe, George, just maybe. There's no escape this time! 
mustache. You thought Stuart got it from his father? You turned your back on your family history! I'm gonna drill you into atoms! <gasps> Leave Evil Doctor alone! <sighs> George never said that before. I never wanted to be a dentist, Moomkins. <gasps> Drones! Annihilate him! I wanted to be a mad scientist, and that's what I am! <laughs> Scare me anymore, Robo Caspid! <gasps> ah, a fitting tribute, I suppose. Ah, I'm so proud of you! But I. Weren't you going to annihilate me? I only wanted you to be a dentist so you'd have a good foundation in pain and suffering! You may be a little wrong in the head, but you're definitely evil! So touching. Golly, did I miss the battle? Husband, you're alive! Of course he is! I picked up the pieces and gave him a new crown! He sure is swell, but could you do something? Anything! About the unending pain? George, <laughs> thanks for putting Mumpkins and Son back together. So we can crush you together as a family! George happy to learn what it's like to have mom. George just wish he had someone who cared for him, too. Put him down! Oh, hey, Ape! For the record, I've always thought of myself as more of a father figure. Ape, what it like to have father? <gasps> Papa Chicago. Chicago! I didn't tell him I borrowed the robots! I think it's time to leave, George. Can George call Ape Moonkins? No. Hello? Oh, shucks. Where'd they go? I brought free toothbrushes for everybody. The jungle, a savage place where might makes right. Where it's eat or be eaten, and it's usually be eaten. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? What's that about? Uh, I don't know what to say. This is... Totally bonkers! It's like they're ready for war! Usually they only ready for nap. Oh no, I think I know what's happening. Quick, come with me, George! Sure! Don't worry about me or my research. Medieval sloth. That'll be a Nobel Prize for sure. <gasps> That'll be a Nobel Prize for sure! Backwards waterfall! Technically, it's water rise, and it's not a good sign. No! It's great! <laughs> On vacation from Crazy Town, back tomorrow. That seals it. Silly ape. No seals in jungle. You heard the man. Pack it up. George, all these strange occurrences, all these signs, they can only mean one thing. It's George's birthday? No. Tomorrow is... <gasps> Bonkers Jungle Reversum Day! Hold on. How come I've never heard of that? Ah, here it is. Bonkers, Jungle Reversum Day. It's an ancient jungle tradition where everything flips for a day. Plants chase animals. Prey goes after predators. The weak devour the strong. In short, everyone goes totally bonkers for 24 hours. Ooh, sound like fun. You, not at all. You'll need to be bad, George. Not a king, but a gnick. That's exactly what he must be. But... Bonkers Jungle Reversum Day might be ridiculous. It might even be illegal. 
But it's tradition. Do you think we like wearing this silly get-up every day? No, it's itchy. It's itchy, it's itchy, itchy. It's tradition. And as Jungle King and Mentor, you two must set an example for the rest of the jungle. Or else. Or else what? You don't want to know. But George do want to know. <gasps> it begins! River Sunday! <laughs> <laughs> George? So, George not save Anteater? No, and in fact, you should probably make things worse. You're a Ganick, remember? Be me. Uh, okay. Good. I mean, bad. Now come, there's more evil to do. Don't tell, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Badger. George knew have choice. George, I know it's hard, but you need to be a worse king. Even I'm supposed to be a terrible mentor today. Eat this. Oh, but George no good at being bad. Feels wrong. Like when George put on loincloth backwards. What can we do? It's tradition. Now rub this poisonous plant on your face. <laughs> Where'd my little Nobel sloth go? Hmm? Mama needs some groundbreaking research. Wow! Those are replicas, right? Ugh. That's right, George. Only a terrible king would eat all these kittens. Come along. There's other animals to be mean to. Sorry, baby cats. If it make you feel better, you taste nice. Ah! <laughs> it's like rat school all over again. <laughs> oh, man. I'm so worried. How am I ever going to get away from the slowest animal in the jungle? Oh, my gosh! They're crazy cats! Hey, Julie, in trouble. It appears so, but there's nothing. <coughs> you can do, George. In fact, you should probably... <coughs> trip her or something. But George King! George's supposed to help. Help! Help me! I'll share a prize with you. I promise, no bells for every sloth. Is that boiling oil? George? Shh. No one can know me save you. Uh, <laughs> me only save Magnolia because me want to eat her myself. George, wait, what are you? I don't know about you, but that looks like fake eating to me. Chew, or it doesn't count. George can't do it. George can't be bad. It's wrong. <laughs> Magnolia tastes bad, too. <laughs> Any tradition that makes a grown man cry <laughs> because he had to chew on his friend's head can't be right. <laughs> Isn't this all just a little bonkers? No! It's tradition! And by breaking it, you've triggered another tradition! The one that says anyone who breaks tradition gets thrown in old Hockey Fire Mountain over there! Here, here! Chip! 
Bowser the King! And the girl, too! Just because. George! Run for it! Ah, but you bad mentor! George, stay right here. Oh, and you're going into the volcano, too! <laughs> We hide here in tree until crazy backwards day over. Ah, that's what this is? Why? Why would anyone do this? Meh, tradition. That's the dumbest thing I've ever... Ah! Hey, tree! Stop being mean! They're over there! <laughs> uh, tickle, tickle, tickle. Wait, George, wait, you! Hi! Ah! Ah! Oh, ah! Quick, we find new place to hide. They can't hide forever. My robe is so itchy. Uh, hi. Get her! No, don't. No last place to hide. Um, I don't know, George. Seems a little obvious to me. No is perfect. See, no one here. Ah! We're going in the volcano, aren't we? <gasps> Bonkers reversum day is almost over. Can't we just say you threw us into the volcano? I'm an excellent fake screamer. No, please, why, why? See? They who break reversum day tradition will soon become an apparition. Nice. Last chance, loincloth. Be a good gnick and give cargo shorts here a molten rock jacuzzi, or it's bath time for all of you. No, George never do bad things. Not even for dumb tradition. Ah! What? No, no, it's fine. I, uh, I just wanted to do it. You monsters! You can do them. Right. <laughs> it's <isn't> gonna blow! <laughs> yep, George finally decided to be good, Ganick. So he breaks the volcano open. <laughs> Gonna make big boom now. What? We're all doomed! I wanted to say that. Fix it! Fix it now! You say not to break tradition. Unless... You want to admit that tradition isn't an excuse for doing something horrible and dumb. <laughs> I think they've learned their lesson. Now fix the volcano, George. No, you know fool George. Me know tradition very important. Besides, it's still reverse someday. Have a cool, see? Ah! It was still reverse someday. Ah! Ah! Not so bad. The jungle, a dangerous place full of danger. Danger that's dangerous at every turn of danger. One man keeps it safe. One man protects all animals. One man wears a loincloth because pants are hard, combs his hair with a stick, and doesn't get doors. That man is a king. That man is... George! George of Jungle! Oh, nice. Very nice. That was my line. <laughs> and watch out for the... Tree. But 
Being the king of the jungle means there's no time for three square meals a day. So what's a peckish man in a leopard skin to do? Hey, what you call George? Lucky for Mr. Sensitive here, there's fruit on every tree. Nutritious grubs on every leaf. And whatever that thing is. is. Is that mayonnaise? Wow. Ooh, jar food! Wait, George, stop! That could have been there for years! <laughs> oh, this Prussian mayonnaise is a little off. Like the Kaiser, eh? Devilish job, Cecil. Now stop being such a Spaniard and give it a heave ho! <laughs> you throw like a Frenchman. <laughs> See? Taste so good. Not only does it not taste so good, but it holds a surprise for our king of the jungle. George. Now, there's a seven rhino pile up on the... Oh. Billy say, need snack first. Eek, uh, ook, ook. Oh, George, we live in a salad bar. I don't know why you'd eat a double beef burrito with banana cheese sauce. George, hungry. Twas not I. Eek, ook, ook. Uh, eek, ook, ook. Belly, how could you? A tune! You are like a zeppelin, you have so much gas! No burritos! Hey, come out and say that to face! Ow! George, I don't think that's your stomach talking. Oh, the plane will be rough now! Stop on Hey! That's my arm! Ow! Well, looks pretty normal to me. Oh, okay. George, you've got a doozy of a parasite. That's a grade A gut worm right there. Is correct, Flash Houses? And my name is Sleepy. George, want worm gone now? Sorry, nope, no can do. But I, King, I order you. Kaiser of das Jungle? <laughs> yes, I laugh! <laughs> George, as King, you swore an oath to protect all jungle creatures, even parasites. But Slippy, not real animal. He not even have legs. <clears throat> oh, no offense, Bernard. Legs or no legs, Slippy's still an animal. George, not leave until Dr. Fix Worm. Suits me. I've been wanting to talk to you about your unpaid bill. <laughs> George, ignore Slippy. He not worth Jungle King's time. King has important animals to save, like lions, elephants, and pink horses with horn in middle of heads. George, we've been through this. Unicorns are imaginary. They told me you say that. Yes. Yes, we did. Help! George, save you! Ah, this place is so mess! Maybe if I move that over there... Grab hands! Ah, ah, don't touch me! I'm cool! I swear! But quicksand! And then that over there... Oh, what is this over here? Uh, false alarm! Uh, I'm good! I'm so good. Huh, what his problem?
Slippy, stop! Magnolia! Ape! George, not do this! This is what I wanted you to see. Dumb worm! You ruined George's life! Worst animal ever! Das Picnic, you are not either! You smell worse on the inside! You called in the right scientist. I moderate three internet forums on parasites, so I'll have that prize-winning specimen out in a jiffy. With science! See? We offer the worm a better place to live, and Slip Slop Glorp, he's somebody else's problem. Nine! Too round! Nine! Too springy! Nine! Two eighties! Nine! Two! Life is tough inside a snake. It's a snaky place full of snake, with snake at every turn. George, 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 and a big snake lost as he can be. Watch out for that swing! George, 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 and a big snake is wet and soft and pink. It really kind of stinks. When he made a mistake, he was eaten by a snake. Along with his friends, there's no escape. And away he'll swing on some gross thing. Whatever it is, it isn't a string. Ew. George, George, George in a big snake. Glad it isn't me. George, we found a whole mango tree growing near the lungs. I don't know how it grew without sunshine or dirt or water. But hey, don't look a snake fruit in a snake mouth, right? Have you found a way out yet? Uh, George did not find anything. Nope, not George. No, no. Slither left. Activating his shedding skin. Pink horses with them. horn in middle of head. Hi! Now, George, I thought we had an understanding. Apes say they're not real. Apes say they're not real. Apes say they're not real. Gas quake! Duck and cover, people! George, there's always an after belch. Not so fun when you eat that parasite, huh? Uh, get your ball, George, in here! Uh, uh. Uh. George never realized how hard it'd be to live inside animal. Slippy live in inside jungle, just like animals live in outside jungle. Yeah, yeah, okay, that is nice thought, but not the lesson. Play again! Ow, uh, Slippy real animal. Keep going. Even if Slippy all wet and not have legs? Yeah, okay, close enough. George, sorry for treating Slippy no good. That's okay. Now we can leave. Wait. You know way out of snake. That's handy and completely incomprehensible. All animals have this emergency exit. Women and scientists first! <laughs> oh, something that doesn't smell like snake. Ah. Slippy want back in, George? George be proud to have Slippy in stomach. No, my work is complete. George is now better jungle kaiser. <gasps> George missed you, Slippy. <laughs> no need. I make eggs in all your mouth last night. Good tag. <laughs> Being king of the jungle isn't easy. There's peril at every turn. Animals that need help. Other animals that don't. I save, uh, the crocodile? No, George, the sloth, the baby sloth. Why would a crocodile need saving from a one-year-old sloth? Well, baby sloth look mean. It doesn't look, oh. Just swing in there and save the sloth, hmm? Sloth, 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 uh, sloth green, 
Blood have skill? It's the brown one with fur! George saves Sloth! Gah! Uh, both the Grease Monkey clan and the Stink Badgerino think they should live in this cave. As Jungle King, your decision will prevent a terrible war. Oh, George feels much better, but cave kinda messy. Very nice. Now, where are they going to live? George loves having house guests. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Meanwhile, in Dr. Chicago's evil science lab... Imagine a creature so mean, so filled with hatred, so vicious, that you'd wet your pants even thinking about it! You're probably thinking, what is that? That, my friends, is Cuspid, Dr. Chicago's toothy science assistant. The doctor created Cuspid to help out with his evil plans, but mm, sometimes things don't work out how you imagine. Behold! What? Puppies? Kittens. Oh, they're not scary or mean. They're fuzzy and have pink noses. <laughs> I said, imagine it. I haven't even hit them with my new monsterizer. Ahem. George, destroy the doctor's machine. <laughs> this make kitties into monsters? Ha! <laughs> George like to see that. <laughs> <laughs> At least we destroy machine. Hey, what wrong? You need use bathroom? <laughs> Warning, poetry ahead. Warning. As the result of a terrible poetry accident in his second year at Oxford, Ape can only speak in rhyme when furiously frustrated. A jungle king you're supposed to be. Instead, you're barely bourgeoisie. You keep your eyes closed on a vine. George, scared of heights. You never remember which toothbrush is mine. They look same. You always leap before you look. <laughs> when we ran out of toilet paper, you used my book. I've hit my limit. No more. That's it. Goodbye, George. I'm done. I quit. <laughs> oh, Ape, you funny. Ape? Uh, so I'm your new roommate. Name's Bernard. Hope you like loud music and a fridge full of goats. Come back, Ape. George, try harder. George, be better. George promised to change. Ow. Hmm. Okay, I think I have a way to help you. There's only two things you need to know about bitey, bitey ants. One, they're deathly afraid of anteaters. Two, when they get scared, they... Whoa, wouldn't want to have him in loincloth. He's going in your loincloth. But, uh, George promised he'd change. You did. And our little friend... Henry. Our little friend Henry here will help make sure you do. For this, I truly apologize. <laughs> Not so bad. Henry tickled. Anteater. <laughs> See, Henry and I will help you remember to be a better jungle king. It's for your own good. Okay, I ape think this best. <laughs> now he tickles again. Anteater. Ah! <laughs> 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 Uh, 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 
Say the word. But, but George saved Sloth and Eagle Baby and Swing Good on Fine. But you didn't do them properly, like a king should. Say the word. George no wanna. Say it. And... <laughs> George? George? George! There's an insect on your eyeball. And... eater. <laughs> oh. Ew. George, your breakfast's getting cold. George, eat like a civilized ape man. Don't make me. Chef, <laughs> play fetch. Hi, George. Hi, ape. Just thought I'd drop in and. What is wrong with George? What? Nothing's wrong with George. Really? Really? <laughs> George, jungle spirit scared way. Huh. See? George normally tried to escape. He's fine. I've just gotten rid of all his silly little quirks. Um. Hello? What do George's quirks have to do with being a good king? Pish. George, show them you're happy with a new you. Antidote. 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 Antidote! Dookie dookie! Dookie dookie! Fine. We'll take him to the witch doctor. But there's no way this is my fault. This is definitely your fault. See this? This isn't normal. Not even for Einstein here. <laughs> He's hiding somewhere inside his own head. I wonder why. And by that, I mean I'm not wondering at all. Hmm. If George is hiding from anything, it's his jungle duties. So I'll go inside his head and bring him back to reality. If I'm not back in ten minutes, take my casserole out of the oven. Commence Simeon Mind Mill! <laughs> Well, I shouldn't be surprised. It is George's mind. <laughs> While not entirely unpleasant, I will forget that ever happened. Excuse us. Oh, excuse us. <laughs> George, wake up! Time to come back! <laughs> George, stop! <laughs> oh, man! Sorry, George. <laughs> What's wrong? Hey, not hurt, George? Hurt you? No, I'm your friend, George. I'd never hurt you. Oh, George think you were other ape. Other ape? What other? Is that pretty big ape? That thing, that's me. No. That big mean ape that hurt George for no good reason with bitey ants. Oh, this is all my fault. It okay, ape. It's not okay. I should never have tried to change your silly little quirks. They don't even matter. It really okay. You think I'm a big monster and you ran and hid from me? Antita! Sorry. <laughs> Give a... Hey! Yay! Yay! Ah. You 
want to go back to real jungle? <laughs> What's the rush? Oh, your little quirks aren't so bad after all. Uh, 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 <laughs> 